Mad. Yahoo! Hi, Mad here with Drackey and Goose. Goose. And most importantly, today is kind of an update to try to help people uh, understand where to farm the DQ1 event and kind of what's important to farm uh, overall and how, how much stamina you should plan on using. So, you should do all of the story for DQ1. Um, and the event itself is actually, I would say, fairly long. Oh, I just got up, uh, just went 315. Uh, so, there is a normal and a hard. Um, it is important to get through both of these. Uh, it is a, uh, a good until February 28th. So you, it, we, they do give you a decent amount of time, but there is a decent amount of grinding. Um, what I suggest is that uh, do e each of each of the hard chapter end episodes enough to do the event bonuses. Uh, episode one, just do enough to uh, get those bonuses. Chapter three, episode five, you can farm flame swords. And get a decent amount of medals. You will get the same amount of medals per stamina, uh, basically throughout. I do find Chapter Four, Episode Six, with the Dragon Lord staffs, to give you a little bit more medals compared to Flame. You get a little bit more of the three X instead of the one X. Uh, but I'm only going to do enough to get the event bonuses, and once the event bonuses are done. Uh, I'm going to be farming Chapter 2, Episode 5 uh, to farm Green Dragons until I have enough Green Dragons uh, farmed to max them out. On the bottom here, you can see roughly what's expected. Farming them hard it gives you a lot less stamina, uh, requires less stamina on average. If you're really, really lucky, normal can uh, do it for you, but from a normalized uh, curve, doing it on hard is better, but it's still gonna require about 105 attempts to completely max out the green dragon. So you're going to basically spend the entire time there. Um, from that, you'll be getting a very large amount of uh, medals, uh, anywhere from probably around 2,500 medals or so. It's gonna be my guess if you get if you require that 105 attempts. Um, so that's a lot of stamina, but as I say, that's why it's important to go through it uh, daily. What I highly suggest is the uh, event does give you a decent amount of stamina herbs, so you will recover some of those stamina herbs throughout. But also more importantly, you will also be able to, uh, you should spend at least a couple of your uh, gems to refresh the stamina uh, because I have a sneaking suspicion that we're gonna see more events overlap than what Japan did as I think they're gonna try to slow us, slowly catch us up to Japan so that we don't have the future site. Um, so in this game, it is very unique where uh, the first couple of uh, refreshes for stamina cost 40 uh, gems. Then it raises to 60 and goes up from there. And you're also limited to 15. Um, I've only done two or three a day, uh, which is usually enough to run uh, quite a few uh, overall right now. And as I say, I'm going to start focusing on the green dragon. Uh, I've already uh, gotten five uh, sets of dragon lord staffs. Uh, I'm going to focus on Green Dragon from for the next couple of uh, weeks. Uh, or at least couple, a couple of days, I should say. Uh, until I can at least get them to four. And then I'll figure out if it's worth it to go to five. But most importantly, why are we going through this other than just to farm Green Dragon? Uh, so if you go to the swap shop here under limited, you've got the DQ medals. One of the first things that you should buy 
is the iridescent orbs cost 2000 it is very expensive but you can get that uh, with all the bonuses from uh, completing the story these are very rare very important to get your s rank monsters or units up to s5 uh, so you want to go through that uh, I bought all the Dragon Lord vouchers. It's very rare that you can trade stamina, excuse me, to uh, basically premium currency and get uh, chances at uh, the bannering unit, which I think is very important. Um, next is the um, Illustrious Iris. These are kind of a pain to farm as well. So I'm going to get two of the five. Um, Obviously, I still need to keep farming. Um, the next ones that I'm going to get after that are the question mark fragments. 30, so that's 3,000. You can see that there is a lot of items that you can get. And orbs is needed. Uh, these orbs, uh, looking at it, uh, it's approximately, you get two per. So, is it really worth it? If you get two to three, I wouldn't be farming for these specifically. Uh, these you should use for leftovers or if you need to uh, level up a unit while you're farming these. Um, but these usually what you should do is uh, get them when you need. I needed the dragon orb for my green dragon, so that's why I bought the dragon orbs. Um, from a stamina level... So on these 42, I would say you on average you get to it costs 21 stamina in order to get one of these orbs. It's not worth it. Um, the frizz, uh, if you want to get a frizz tome A, that's another good one to get as these are rare. But remember, it's going to cost you 180. It's basically 90 stamina that's pretty expensive so the upgrade tomes here is probably a good thing um, but a lot of it is mad why aren't you going for the staffs the 200 staff here requires about a hundred stamina on average for farming if you're gonna farm for staffs go farm episode chapter 4 episode 6 on average you should get I'm either getting zero or three. So on average for 24 stamina, I'm probably getting roughly one to one and a half staffs. So 24 stamina versus 100 stamina here, let alone the 600, 800, it's not worth getting these staffs. The only reason you get those staffs is you keep on going super, super hard for it and you weren't able to get any good rolls. Uh, or you're just farming everything out, which I still think is a waste of your energy. So these skip because you're going to be farming for the Dragon Lord staffs. Fragments are good. The A level is good. The B level, not so much uh, because it's going to require, as I say, 40 stamina. Uh, Iris, go ahead. The orbs, only leftover. That's all. Doubtful that you'll have that much left over, but they start left over. Same with the orb, even less. Uh, the emeralds I had to get, so it was painful for me, but I got the emeralds. Uh, the XP codex is no. The dragon lord vouchers and the iridescent orbs, yes. But once again, I did get some of the, like the royal rubies. I just needed to level up my green dragon as fast, fast as possible. So I did overspend. If you have to, that's okay. But I'm just trying to save use, you guys, as much stamina as possible. So if you have any questions, comments below, please uh, write them down here. But also, please uh, give me a like or like this video and also uh, sub uh, subscribe too. As I'm going to try to keep this updated. Uh, weekly at the very least if not and uh, still daily for some additional topics um, but importantly Draki and Goose Goose 
all wish you guys having to have a wonderful day, but more importantly, your surf slimes and drackies are even better. Good luck out there, travelers.